does the Overwatch 2 item shop really suck? Yes and kind of no. We're going to we're going to talk about that in this video. To start, let's talk about the design of the shop and how much the currency actually is. So there is a feature tab, and this is kind of what the feature tab will have. There will be a battle pass tab, so you can buy the premium battle pass of the season. There will most likely be a starter pack. Uh, the starter pack will probably change every season. I don't see this changing every weekly. This will probably be every season. So about every nine weeks, we're going to be getting a new starter pack. There is a launch pack. For this case, since the game just came out, this is the watch pack, which I believe you get 17 uh, skins from Overwatch 1 and three new legendary skins. Uh, you get 2,000 credits, which we'll talk about later. And then you also get like an exclusive emblem or something like that for $40. And then there is bundles for three heroes. Then there is a just for you tab. As far as I know, it used to refresh daily, but now it says that it is refreshing weekly, so it might be a bug maybe. Now that we know what the shop looks like, let's talk about the price of the currency. This is how you buy stuff in the item shop. So $1 equals 100 coins, and at $100, you get 11,600 coins with a 16% bonus because they have to add that bonus for spending so much on the coin bundle. So is the item shop really bad? Well, I listed some pros and I listed some cons. Let's talk about it. So let's talk about the pros first. So it is 1 million times better than loot boxes. Loot boxes were bad. It was basically gambling. You can buy old skins from Overwatch 1. You can buy event skins, which is pretty good. I'm glad that you can buy event skins. The starter packs are not bad. I did recently just talk about how there is a starter pack. This is the Doomfist starter pack that is launching with Season 1. The starter pack essentially is you are paying $5 with real-life money, not like $5 currency. You're paying $5 real-life money for a skin, and then you get a bonus of 500 credits. So you are essentially getting the skin for free. And lastly, you can grind an, for a very long time to get Overwatch credits for free. So essentially, you can buy item shop skins for free. Now, here are some cons about the item shop. Even though you can buy event skins, they are now locked behind the item shop with real currency instead of in-game Overwatch currencies like they were back in Overwatch 1. So you are pretty much paying like... 15 to 20 dollars for event skins which is kind of a bummer now touching on that point the skins are honestly really overpriced you're pretty much paying 17 to 20 dollars for most skins in the game which it is better than loot boxes this is normal this is pretty much what fortnite warzone or apex does but it does kind of suck that um overwatch 2 is taking that direction I would like to see maybe that they go down like $15 because I feel like $20 for one legendary skin sucks because most of the legendary skins don't look that great, but that that is my opinion, but they they are overpriced. Touching on the skins being overpriced, there is another tab in the item shop that I didn't really mention, but this is the Overwatch League tab, all right? And they are pretty overpriced as well. In Overwatch 1 for League skins, you had to pay $5 for 100 League tokens. With the League tokens, those would transfer into the skins. And now in Overwatch 2, you pay $6 for 100 League tokens, and each skin is worth 300 League tokens. So you are roughly paying $21 for Overwatch League skins. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Basically, I don't think that the item shop is that bad. I think it's good. It's a new free-to-play model that Overwatch is doing. And even though the skins are overpriced, I don't think that this is bad. They have to make money somehow. And if this is better than loot boxes, I'm down with this. Thank you guys so much for watching.